Morning everyone, July 15th, 2020, Shakespeare Sonnet 114. Um, a bit of a uh, divergent path from some of the previous ones. There is a relationship to Sonnet 105, according to some of the research here, um, where Shakespeare continues to have this conversation uh, about um, the eye or the mind. Uh, which one, it's a bit of a metaphysical argument, uh, which one is more responsible for sin? Are they equally responsible? Uh, the word guilty is used a number of times in this particular um, review of the sonnet. Which one is more guilty of sinful behavior? It's uh, interesting that... Uh, uh, there's also the relationship to idolatry, worshipping idols, which um, you're not supposed to do in certain religious beliefs. So, enough preamble, interesting. Uh, also a little uh, snip in there about um, uh, alchemy, arcane alchemy. And, and uh, we're much different today. Hey, get this fruit cleanse and you will be great. We still are alchemists uh, in the modern age. Here's 114. Or whether doth my mind, being crowned with you, drink up the monarch's plague, this flattery? Or whether shall I say mine eye saith true, and that your love taught it this alchemy, to make of monsters and things indigest such cherubins as your sweet self resemble, creating every bed as perfect best, as fast as objects to his beams assemble. Oh, tis the first, tis flattery in my seeing, and my great mind most kingly drinks it up. Mine eye knows well what with his gust is green, and to his palate doth prepare the cup. If it be poisoned, tis the lesser sin, that mine eye loves it, and doth first begin. I also forgot to have a little conversation just briefly about punctuation. There are a couple of lines that are not ended in punctuation. Again, I'm still hung up on that. And some question marks. Two of them thrown in. This flattery, beans assemble. Um, but there are a number of things, not only the word alchemy, but uh, ingesting, um, drinking, monarchs, plague, etc., etc., disease cured by alchemy. So it's a pretty interesting one. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.